Yo, what's going on? Man United won. Who do we play again? Because I don't even remember. Bournemouth fam. Zero. The Cherries. There was no 7-up in this performance, bro. There was nothing going on there. It was life was good. Life was good because you know what's happened? Man United are moving on. Man United are finally pressing on in the in the in the area where we need to. Again, start of the season. What are you asking for? Yes, I was talking about title race. I got gassed. Yeah. But deep down, the main thing that you need to do is cons wait, consolidate your position. Yeah, top four means everything. And I was getting nervous. I was getting worried because we lost Martinez and it's like Liverpool, you saw the Liverpool resurgence and you're thinking, geez, if we end up outside of the top four after being in for so long, we're in the mud. It's a capitulation. Like, I know I've been going on back and forth about Arsenal, but this would be worse. For me, this would be worse, especially with what's at stake. You're talking about um, City, on the verge of winning the treble. The only thing that can stop them is us. But even if we got to the FA Cup final, yeah, and we wasn't in the top four, it, it still hurts. It would still hurt because at the end of the day, that's what's going to bring in big signings. We need big players and top four is bread and butter. We absolutely need that. That's crucial. De Jong, we couldn't convince him to come to the club. Yes, he still loved things at, um, he still loved things at Barcelona, but we had no top four to, we had no Champions League football. If you want to bring in players like Kane, Osserman, the, that's the difference. That's the piece that you need. And Man United today, I would call it, I don't want to say... It's hard to call it a professional performance. I'm actually just going to big up the back four. Because the back four, solid. We get through that game because of the back four. The back four on point today. And I had to start with the main man, Lindelof. Lindelof is coming to the... He was waiting for his moment. The guy has been... He's almost looked really... Oh! <laughs> 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 Oh man, you see my we're life. Just, we're gonna win the league. <laughs> we're gonna win the league. I <laughs> hey, see my life, yeah. No, because they live rent free for me, yeah. And I feel God just says, Kenji, have this. <laughs> you can't have it. Why are you doing your fan cam? Just take this go. Hey, <laughs> anyway. Oh, man. No. All right. Focus, focus, KG. Again, that's nothing. That's not things. But we move. We talk about what Man United are doing and what Man United need to do. Again, is we need to just get through. We need to get through and we're doing it. And, you know, we can, we can bring in the big players. That's what it's all about. Yes, we still don't have an owner. We don't know where we're going, but today's result was huge. And that's it. I wanted to talk about Lindelof. Lindelof has been rock solid. Lindelof's not doing what they just did over there. It's not happening. Lindelof is absolutely, he waited for his moment. That's the point I was making. He waited for his moment. He was playing with, what, Maguire. And Maguire, I don't want to rinse Maguire, but he didn't make him, he didn't cover him in the best light. And you're looking at Lindelof thinking, is he good enough? Well, absolutely. Lindelof has got what it takes. Lindelof can be the difference. Has he has it? Oh, he has it in him. And now we're seeing it. We we can now say that he's a solid. Can you even? Is he a backup? It's mad because he's moving like a first choice. If we if we're real, like when you say what you want from a centre back, be solid, be good in the ball, and again, nothing can pass them. And you know what? Like have just a this IQ in game IQ has been fantastic. Some people question, can he do it against Haaland? Again, I'm not going to say that he's next level, but if he has to play against Haaland, there's something in there. He could do a job. Kim and Jay, if he does come to this club, it's not guaranteed. These guys now need to see that he's a real, like, he's a, he's a real guy to be in this team. We, we dropped the captain of this club and started Lindelof. That just, that speaks volumes. Again, Luke Shaw was in the form of his life, but... The, the manager has brought faith back in the centre back and said, you're my guy. You're the guy that I can rely on till the end of the season. And fantastic. And Lindelof, well done, man. Big shout out to you. Again, another player, Luke Shaw, come on leaps and bounds. You're talking about when you want to give out like most improved player, there's three nominees for me. Three absolute incredible nominees. You're giving, Rashford's one of them, yeah? The next one I'd have to say is Luke Shaw, Wambasaka. 
Those are my three for like in terms of most improved. Now for, for what Luke Shaw's offering is, yes, he was always kind of decent, but I never looked at Luke Shaw as a senior pro at this club. Yes, he's been here for a long time, but I never saw it. I never saw how he acted, how he, even down to interviews, everything that he's doing now is showing that he knows who, that, bro, you, like, you've been in this dressing room the longest. They need to listen to you and they need to respect you. And we're seeing that now. We can call on him. When he said to the manager, I can play this game. I'll play whatever you want me to, boss. Those are the, that's the difference. That's the piece. I'm, I'm loving life at the moment, looking at Lindelof and his team. And you, you, again, he's someone else that can fit in as a left back, but I mean, fit in as a centre back, but psh, we ain't got nothing else. When you talk about left backs, when I thought he was injured today, I was really nervous because a lot happens on the left-hand side. He's so vital to the way we play football. He has to stay fit to the end of the season. Again, other things, wan -Bissaka, you lot have seen it already. When wan -Bissaka gets a nutmeg and is trying to dink it back, you know, like, this is a guy that, again, it was, it was Brockford settings. It was like almost, we don't know what wan is going to do. Listen, wan knows what he's going to do. The boss also knows what he's going to do. They're talking about right back was the most important position to fix. wan has cleanly left the low at the team. The low was one of the most improved. wan is the number one right back at this club. Imagine. I'm comfortable. If we go into next season without a right back, I'm fine. That's what I'm looking at. Again, just to move things forward, the disappointments, because I've done the positives and stuff and talk about what was good about the game, but today, Bruno Fernandes, man. There's, there's again, a couple players that just let me down. Bruno Fernandes especially. Again, as my captain, I'm expecting you to just bring a calmness, a sense of just coolness into the team. Yes, he takes that wicked volley and it, it should have been a goal, but again, keeper gets a good hand to it, but... It's the, it's the poor decision-making. It's the poor moments from um, Bruno. And it's in games where I don't need you to be like that. I need you to really take things by the scruff, scruff of the neck. I need that leadership on the pitch. Yes, um, the players respect you, but it's deeper than that. We need to see that you, like, you're above reproach. Like, no one should be able to look at you and say, look what you did, because you're, apt to, you're moving perfect in the game. And it's below standards. It is below standards. For your level, it's below standards. Another player that I need to talk about, Jaden Sancho. Now, I'm going to hold on. I'm going to give him one season. I had a funny conversation with Josh, though, and he said, you have to remember that the club that you support and what your manager's got rid of in the past. Yap Stam, he's got rid of great players. Roy Keane, he's got rid of... There's great Beckham. Like really good players. If you're not cutting the mustard, if you're not cutting the like, I don't know, uh, what's the cut the gravy, cutting the mustard, you can't be here, right? You can't be here. And I'm not saying that it's time for Sancho to go, but next season is crucial. And today it was almost unforgivable. The what the moment that he had today where he just decides to walk, that was like what Rashford did before against like against a big team. And it's like, that's an unforgivable moment. I'm not saying that you have to be Ganacho, but at least show me the desire. Show me what I'm looking for to, I can say, you know what? You're different and maybe you just need a bit more time. That's all I'm looking for. Did not see it. Um, oh man, there's, there's more pieces to talk about actually. There's another, something else bothered me today. Something else got on my nerves. Oh man, I've got Sancho and Bruno out there, but Marshall. That's it. Last guy, Marshall. I don't know what happened between Marshall and the manager for the manager to take him off today. We saw Mr. Giddy up, man like Weghorst. We saw him come on the pitch and I was like, okay, interesting. But Marshall did not look happy about it. I heard he walked straight down the tunnel, but then I've been told that he went back onto the bench. So again, I think maybe it's just one of those ones where, you know, you get sent, you get taken off and you don't feel that you're the worst player in the pitch. So it showed in his face. I think Eric Ten Hag has stood by Martial. So Martial's just got to eat that one and hold that one. It is what it is. But we need more from him. We do need a bit more, like just some invention and just taking our time. But anyway, again, a lot to talk about, but Man United kick on. We need a draw and it's done. We'll see what happens. Big up, stay blessed. Come on, champions.